Welcome to the 2022 BrewTube Creator Award Ceremony. I'm your host, Man Made Mead, and I am super excited to share some fun awards with some awesome creators today. When I talk about creators, I'm talking about brewing YouTube creators, meaning that they are brewing, they are making brewing content on YouTube. At the beginning of November, I sent out a form to everyone I could possibly send it to to nominate creators for specific awards that I've created. There are five main categories for the awards. We have a beer category, wine and cider combined, mead, distilling, and then a whole category for just all brewing content creators overall. Here's a list of the awards available for each category. So the nomination round lasted about two weeks and ended up with tons of nominations for each award. I assembled a panel of people to help me sift through those nominations and figure out which ones were truly valid for that award and kind of break them down into a smaller amount. Each award received a ton of nominations and so we had to pare it down a little bit so that it wasn't so hectic in the voting. Because I'm hosting this, I did not want to accept any nominations that were sent my way. Thank you to those people who did nominate me, but I'm hosting this and I want this to be fair. After we had figured everything out, we went to a voting round. We basically took all of these awards with the nominations that my panel and I figured out and let you vote for them. So we sent out some forms, I put them everywhere I possibly could and people voted. We had about 440 total votes sent in overall for everything. And I will be sharing the total amount of votes and the graphs and stuff at the very end of this video if you are curious to see those. I do want to remind you that these categories and these creators were voted on by you. So feel free to comment below as we go along. Let's go ahead and get into the first category, and that is beer. In our first category, we have the easiest beer creator recipe slash videos to follow. We have Basic Brewing, David Heath Homebrew, Flora Brewing, The Apartment Brewer, Homebrew Challenge, Claw Hammer Supply, Dr. Hans Brewery, Hops and Gnarly, and The Brew Show. The winner of this award is David Heath Homebrew. The next beer award goes to the creator with the most well-produced content. So in this one, we had the following nominated, Claw Hammer Supply, David Heath Homebrew, The Apartment Brewer, The Brew Show, The Craft Beer Channel, The Homebrew Challenge, and Hops and Gnarly. The winner of this award is Claw Hammer Supply. The beer creator that parties the hardest is quite the title to achieve. The nominations for this one are Party Time Brewing, Claw Hammer Supply, Dr. Hans Brewery, and Homebrew for Life. The winner of this award is Homebrew for Life. Now this next one has a ton of people nominated because it's a big one. It's the beer creator's beer that I most want to try based off of watching their stuff. We have Basic Brewing, Bitter Reality Brewing, Dr. Hans Brewery, Hops and Gnarly, The Apartment Brewer, Homebrew, The Homebrew Challenge, David Heath Homebrew, Doing the Most, Genus Brewing, Mean Brews, and The Brew Show. The winner of this award is doing the most. We also had some video nominations here. So this award is for the weirdest beer recipe slash video. Here are the nominations on screen. The description slash title of them are a little bit longer, so I'm not going to say them here. But the winner of this one is I brewed mushroom beer so you don't have to from Nikita Vorontsov. Sorry if I said that wrong. The next beer video award goes to the most entertaining beer video, and the nominations are right here on screen. We have a plethora of them. Again, not going to read their titles. You can find the links to these. Um, I'll put it in a Google Doc below because there's going to be a lot. But the winner of this one goes to Pumpkin Beer, Weird Beer Styles, Craft Beer Review from Dr. Hans Brewery. We have finished the beer category, so let's go ahead and jump into the wine and cider category. Yeah. 
Our first nomination is for the wine slash cider creator with the easiest recipes and videos to follow. The nominations for this category are City Steading Brews, DIY Fermentation, Do The Most, and Happy Homestead. The winner of this award is City Steading Brews. Our next award is for the wine and cider creator with the most well-produced videos. So the nominations for this one are number 12 cider, City Stang Brews, Doing the Most, The Home Wine Making Channel, and DIY Fermentation. The winner of this award is Doing the Most. Our next award is the most knowledgeable wine slash cider creator. The nominations for this one are City Stang Brews, the Home Wine Making Channel, Doing the Most Brewing, I should be saying brewing at the end of his name, and Number 12 Cider. The winner of this award is Doing the Most Brewing. The nominations for the Best Wine Slash Cider Teacher are Doing the Most, DIY Fermentation, City Steading Brews, and Happy Homestead. The winner of this award is City Steading Brews. The nominations for the Wine Cider Creator's product that I most want to try are Doing the Most Brewing, Happy Homestead, The, the Home Wine Making Channel, Number 12 Cider, City Steading Brews, and DIY Fermentation. There were actually two winners of this award, and they both are Doing the Most Brewing and City Steading Brews. They actually tied down to the exact vote, number of votes, so they get to share this award. We also had some video nominations for this category, so the Weirdest Wine slash Cider video from 2022 had the following nominations. Again, I'm not gonna be saying the names of them. Here are the thumbnails for them with information below if you'd like that. But the Weirdest Wine Cider video from 2022 is Almond Milk Wine from Happy Homestead. The most entertaining wine slash cider video from 2022 had these nominations. You can see them on screen, a bunch of really fun videos. These were fun to watch. Um, again, they're most entertaining and interesting. The winner of this one is how we made lingonberry jam cider making hard cider with jelly, question mark, from City Steading Brews. We have now finished our wine and cider nominations. We are gonna jump now into the spirit category. Hey. 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 Yeah. Oh. Hey. So here are the nominations for the spirit creator with the easiest videos and recipes to follow. We have Bearded and Bored, Phil Billy Moonshine, Still It, and Whiskey Tribe. The winner of this award is Still It. Our next award for the distilling category is the spirit creator with the most well-produced videos. The nominations, just like last time, are Bearded and Bored, Still It, Whiskey Tribe, and Phil Billy Moonshine. The winner of this award is Still It. The nominations for the most knowledgeable spirit creator are Whiskey Tribe, Still It, Phil Billy Moonshine, and Bearded and Bored. The winner of this award is Still It Again. And the nominations for the most entertaining spirit creator to watch are Phil Billy Moonshine, Still It, Whiskey Tribe, and Bearded and Bored. And the winner, again, for this one is Still It. You know, it sure seems like we gotta get some new uh, distilling creators in this category because we didn't have very many uh, options there, but maybe that's for 2023. We did have a few video nominations for the distilling category. So the most entertaining spirit video from 2022 received these two nominations. And that was, as you see on screen, distilling Cinnabon and distilling some cereal. The winner of this one goes to breakfast whiskey made with cereal, Captain Crunch and Apple Jacks from Still It. In our last video nomination for the distilling category was for the Weirdest Spirit Video and Recipe from 2022 award. The two nominations were these on screen. We have someone distilling uh, Capri Sun and we have <laughs> distilling M&Ms. The winner of this award goes to I Distilled Peanut Butter M&Ms and they're awesome from 
still it. We have finished with the distilling category. Let's hop on into the mead making category. Our first award is for the mead creator with the easiest recipes to follow, and the nominations were City Steading Brews, Basic Brewing, Doing the Most, DIY Fermentation, Faywood Mead, and Sam Mead Making. The winner of this award is City Steading Brews. The next award is the mead creator with the most well-produced videos. We had three nominations for this one. They are Arrow to the Mead, City Steading Brews, and Doing the Most Brewing. The winner of this award is Doing the Most Brewing. The nominations for the most knowledgeable mead making creator are Doing the Most Brewing, Texas Longhouse Mead, and City Steading Brews. The winner of this award is Doing the Most Brewing. The award for the best mead making teacher had these nominations, Basic Brewing, Arrow to the Mead, DIY Fermentation, City Steading Brews, Doing the Most Brewing, and Sam Mead Making. The winner is City Steading Brews. And the Mead Maker's Mead that I most want to try had the following nominations. Quite a few people here. Arrow to the Mead, City Steading Brews, Making Poor Decisions, Texas Longhouse Mead, Doing the Most Brewing, Faywood Mead, German Brew, DIY Fermentation, and Basic Brewing. And the winner of this award is City Steading Brews. We had three video categories for the mead making creator side. We first have the weirdest mead recipe slash video from 2022 with these nominations on screen. The winner of this award is the Tobacco Ghost Pepper Black Limes Buckwheat Boucher Braggot, the Metal Mead from Doing the Most Brewing. The award for the most entertaining mead video of 2022 had these nominations. And the winner of this award goes to Next Big Thing, Powdered Mead, Just Add Water from Doing the Most Brewing. We did have a category for the most historically accurate mead recipe from 2022, and these two nominations were there. The winner of this award goes to I'm gonna say this wrong, because I'm just going to. Met <laughs> Recept Os 1717 Original, I can't say this word, with a subtitle, from Hal Blingen. I'm sure I said that wrong, sorry. Go watch that video, that's a fun one. We are out of the mead category and into the all creator, all brew tube side. These awards are for all brew tube creators, and again, they've received these nominations. So the first one is for the most energetic creator and the nominations include Still It, Homebrew for Life, Claw Hammer Supply, Party Time Brewing, Dr. Hans Brewery, and Arrow to the Mead. The winner of this award is Still It. We have an award for the most underappreciated YouTube creator. I specifically kind of put a cap on as 50K subs for this award. So all these people have underneath 50 sub, 50K subs. They include Hobson Gnarly, The Apartment Brewer, Trouble Brewing with Matt Ushman, Doing the Most Brewing, Mean Brews, The Brew Show, Party Time Brewing, and Faywood Mead. And the winner of this award is Doing the Most Brewing. The nominations for the creator with the best thumbnails include The Homebrew Challenge, Homebrew for Life, The Brew Show, Claw Hammer Supply, Hobson Gnarly Brewing, Still It, City Steading Brews, and Dr. Hans Brewery. The winner of this award is City Steading Brews. The award for the creator who is most active with their audience had these nominations, City Steading Brews, David Heath Homebrew, Elementary Brewing Co., Hobson Gnarly, Doing the Most Brewing, uh, Homebrew for Life, and the Homebrew Network. The winner of this award is City Steading Brews. The nominations for the creator you most want to have a beer with are Basic Brewing, Claw Hammer Supply, Flora Brewing, Dr. Hans Brewery, Homebrew for Life, Texas Longhouse Mead, City Steading Brews, Doing the Most Brewing, Mean Brews, Happy Homestead, Still It, and The Apartment Brewer. There's a lot of those guys. The winner of this award is City Steading Brews. The creator with the most beginner-friendly content 
had these nominations. We have Five Minute Brewery, City Steading Brews, David Heath Homebrew, DIY Fermentation, Doing the Most, Simple Homebrew, Brewing Made Easy, The Apartment Brewer, and The Brew Show. The winner of this category is City Steading Brews. The most scientific brew tube channel had the following nominations. Craft Beer and Brewing channel, Doing the Most Brewing, Genus Brewing, Hobson Gnarly Brewing Co., Mean Brews, The Apartment Brewer, The Brew Show, The Home Wine Making Channel, and The Homebrew Challenge. The winner of this award is Doing the Most Brewing. We have one final award, and that goes to the most well-produced video content creator. The nominations for this award included City Steading Brews, Doing the Most Brewing, The Brew Show, The Home Wine Making Channel, Dr. Hans Brewery, Claw Hammer Supply, Hobson Gnarly, The Apartment Brewer, and The Homebrew Challenge. And the winner of this final award goes to City Steading Brews. So those are all of the awards. We've given them all out. And last year when I did this, I was able to contact people and have them give a thank you speech. I wasn't able to do that this time. But you should go check out, of course, all the creators who have won awards, but also you should go and check out all of the creators that maybe didn't win an award or you can find on YouTube. I love bringing to light the different varieties of channels we have here on YouTube. We have a ton of people, big and small, and everyone needs support. I encourage you to check out some of these new brewing channels and help them out by liking videos, subscribing. If they have a YouTube membership or Patreon, that's a great way to support people. Get in there and help these people grow because brewing content is really hard. As somebody who makes it all the time, um, it's pretty tough and we need that support. If you have enjoyed this award ceremony, feel free to hit like on this video that just says, hey, I enjoyed it. And if you want to learn more about mead making specifically, I have a lot of videos on my channel that you can check out. I have amassed all of the channels I could find easily on YouTube and put them, their little thumbnails and stuff. Go and support these people. I also have a grandmaster list of all these people below. There's some Google Docs to check out people with their YouTube channel links. But feel free to support these, these different creators. They need help and I promise you it'll be worth it to go and support them. I do now want to share some final results and all of the tally from everything so you can see that. I, um, I've enjoyed this a lot and I hope that you have too. Feel free to let me know what you think um, and you know, give some creators some love below. Let me know who you think, who, who you enjoy. You know, let's talk, let's get a conversation going about these awards and I'd love to know what you enjoyed about this video, maybe one, what you wanna see different next year and uh, we'll see what happens. So thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in for this very fun award ceremony for 2022. 2023 will be here soon, so maybe you might start making some brewing content soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.